Okay, okay, shalom, shalom, kom yes, Allah, koholoyinla, yahawa bashim yawashai, pahashem, rakhahakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to you, Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of your ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, is what I was saying in the greeting. That's the true name of our Father, the Most High. And it means He exists or He is to be in Paleo Hebrew. And the true name of the Son, Bahashem, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Those are the true names of the father and son and Bahashem in the name of the Rechach Hadash. That's the Holy Spirit in Paleo Hebrew. There's no letter J's in Hebrew. The Lord is not some white guy named Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai. He's a dark melanated man with woolly hair. The children of Israel were melanated people and still are in a lot of cases, but we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So we kind of lost that color, so to speak. But the Lord is only coming for the children of Israel. He only made contracts with the, the children of Israel. The old covenant and the new covenant are only for the new ch for the um, the children of Israel. So let's go off into this. I wanted to get this because this is a part of the curses that our people are under. Now, if you know you're familiar with um, Michigan State and State, uh, Michigan and Michigan State, you know what I'm saying? Like two football teams here in Michigan. Real rivals, been real rivals for a real long time. You know how that goes, football rivals, whatever, whatever. But they ended up getting into a brawl in the tunnel. I'm, I'm thinking it was it halftime, I think. And um, so let's just get some of the video because I wanted to point out some things that, you know, that are a part of the curses that we're going through as a people. And this is how you know who the children of Israel are. If the, the, They have to fit those curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28, man. They have to. And we're the only ones that fit these curses to a T. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's what these people are so up in arms about Kanye saying and um, Kyrie right now. See, they, they want to shut they want to shut all that down. They don't want you Negroes going online and searching Hebrew Israelites and who you what your real nationality is. They prefer you call yourself a color out of a crayon box. They they love you calling yourself black and throwing your fists in the air, talking about how black and proud you are. You see, because we're the only people on this planet that don't have a standing military. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth with white people over us in all nations. And all the heathen nations, all these heathen nations, they all have their hands on us, man. We're all just, you know, servants in, in, in these these nations. We don't have anything. We can't come up with a curriculum for our own children. They, they come up with the curriculum and what they want our children to learn. You see? They control your, your water. If you, if you, you know, you got to pay a damn water bill to these people, man, to, to just wash up, you know? Just think about all the things that uh, we have to go to this man for. And that's one of the curses. The, the, the Deuteronomy 28, one of those scriptures say that we will go to our enemies for one of all things, food, water, clothing, and anything for that matter. If you want to travel in this man's country, you have to have his driver's license, his car insurance. And then they'll tell you you're free, but try and leave this country without their credentials. Try leaving this country without the white man's so-called white man's passport and showing that you've been in, um, uh, you've taken all their shots for um, immunization and all this other shit. You're not leaving here, man. These people are not going to give you no reparations and, and let you just get up and just leave this place and go to somewhere like Ghana or Nigeria or something like that. They're not going to do it. Why? Because they make a fucking killing off you so-called Negroes being in sin. Your Newport factories, your damn Hennessy. <laughs> you know, these people, they make a killing off of your sicknesses, your high blood pressure, your hyper hypertension, you know. They got a damn fast food restaurant on every one of your corners because they love keeping you that way. They want you to be docile. They want you to be against each other. They want you shooting at each other. Why do you think they give you this weak ass rap music? That's getting a damn rapper shot per week. You see, but let's get some of this video though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to rant, but you know, we gotta, you know, <laughs> 
I mean, it's it's getting crazy out here, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to realize that the Lord is coming soon for the children of Israel, and you need to wake your asses up, man, and repent. Other than that, you're going to be destroyed with the same, very same people that's been oppressing you for hundreds of years. Well, let's get some of this. Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh says he expects a police investigation will actually result in criminal charges. MSU head coach Mel Tucker offering an apology after suspending four players. Let's get right to Fox News' Brandon Hudson. He's covering the story with the very latest. And Brandon, not the proudest moment for any Spartan out there. Yeah, definitely not. Now, during that apology from Coach Mel Tucker, he said that this does not represent Michigan State culture. Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh says that what happened Saturday night is traumatic for both his players and staff. He expects expects charges to be filed. Now, keep in mind, 100 years, Michigan has shared an entrance with its opponents, and that includes rivals Michigan State and Ohio State, and fights had never happened. See, 100 years before you niggas was even able to go there. You see, they was able to go and just play football, talk shit about each other a little bit, and go on home, have some beers with their, you know, whatever, whatever. Well, here you go, you Jake. You couldn't even get into a school like that 100 years ago. And here you go. You in here fighting in this bitch against your own people, man, for the for the entertainment of these people, man. Let's go. Let's get it, man. 48 hours since the Michigan-Michigan State game, and this fight caught on video still dominates the latest episode of this in-state rivalry. An all-out brawl in Michigan Stadium's historic tunnel. At least 10 MSU players and two U of M players involved as video shows no outside effort to break it up. On Monday, both head football coaches addressed the... Okay, so you see? Jake. So-called blacks jumping another so-called black from another school because you was getting your ass kicked. Because you lost the game, basically. They was getting their asses kicked. Okay, you got some shoving and pushing on the field. Little stuff like that. But when it's time to go to the locker room and, and see what you're going to do when you come out in the second half, oh, you should be just making it to the locker room and see what the coach got to say. Here you go. You in the hallway fighting against your own people, man. Now, when you look at these games, and I don't care what sport it is, pretty much, or, or at least the more popular ones, I'll put it that way. When you look at college basketball, all you see is a bunch of niggas on the court running and jumping. But when you look at the stadium and the people that's in it, it's a bunch of so-called white people with their expensive beers and expensive hot dogs. Those are the people that are there to see you niggas entertain them. Same thing with the football, college football. Same thing with the NBA. Same thing with the NFL. It's you so-called niggas that's out here entertaining these people, and, and, and <laughs> that's all they look at you as. You see? Now, you about to catch some goddamn charges, and, and, and you know what? When it straight comes down to it, and I had to, and you ain't seen no, no so-called white boys doing nothing, because mainly these teams are made up of so-called niggas these days. Most of these teams, pay attention to it. You'd be surprised. Look at Sunday football, or, or you know, even when they're in the pros. Most of these teams are made up of nothing but so-called blacks, man. You see? Now, when it comes to a situation like this, this is something that'll stick with these dudes for life. But now, if, they, they, now if these were white kids, so-called white kids, we say so-called because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. They're not, these are Edomites. That's their biblical name. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your biblical identity is your Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. So when it comes to a so-called, had this been a group of so-called white kids, they would have pushed it under the rug. They got emotional. They'd have made all kinds of excuses for him. And then, you know, in the future, it's not going to affect him in no way because he's learned from his mistakes. He, he's so sorry about the situation. These Negroes right here, they'll get a jail record and it'll affect you the rest of your damn life. Because you're going in, off in here and want to, you know, and, and, and jump, you know, one of your own people, man. That's, 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 it's sad to see, man. But these are the curses that we are under, man, in this place, man. Under the, the so-called white man. You're not going to get outside of this, man. This is the reason why, like I said again, them small hatters, them 1948ers, they do not want you mentioning that you're a Hebrew Israelite because once these, these curses get pointed out, you're like, oh, shit, that is us. <laughs> well, let's get Deuteronomy. Let me, start, let me get verse one real quick. Because these are the blessings. You know, the Lord said, I will bless you if you be obedient. Right. 
And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to do, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on, on high above all nations of the earth. This is where we were at at one point. And see, these so-called white people, they don't want you to get back to that status. They don't want you calling on the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and start back praying to him because we're praying to the Lord for, for help, man, and power and to overcome our enemies for us, man. And it's happening and you're starting to see it right before your very eyes because he's starting to wake us back up again. See, before we didn't know who we were. Calling yourselves black, African Americans, Latinos, Dominicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Hondurans, all kinds of places that, you know, the so called white man kidnapped our people and gave you all these bullshit names. But that's in the, um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 as well, the same chapter. It goes up until you will be called a byword. You will become an um, astonishment if you don't listen. And in fact, let's get verse 15 curses for disobedience. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that's what's going on with us right now. These curses, man. Now, let me go down to the bottom here because I want to get the curse as to what you just seen on that video right there. And it fits us to a T. This don't fit them people that's over there in the land that's mad at Kanye. These curses, you'll never see them doing each other like that, man. You've never heard of any of those people interacting like that. And it's not all because they're all holy, neither. Don't have anything to do with that because we already know how to get down. But this right here is um, verse 54, one of the curses. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, because we used to be tender amongst each other. We used to have real, real, super duper love, man, for, for our people, man. It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. But the point that I wanted to make that we used to be delicate towards each other. Now we have an evil eye towards each other, man. And I was just watching the brother's video, um, GMS Vegas. He had a clip of one of the old boondocks and um, it was called a nigga moment. Nigga moment, man. And that, that, that was a complete nigga moment right there. Because they weren't going to jump no white boys like that. You think had them niggas jumped a, a white boy in that, in that tunnel like that, man, look, it would have been all kinds of uproars. But they jumped, them, jumped their own people, man. You see? Let me get one more curse, though. Let me see. What's that one? Um... Well, verse 46, so let me get this one. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses are upon us as a sign, like a McDonald's sign. If you want McDonald's, you know, you see that, that big yellow M. You know you at McDonald's. You can go get a Big Mac, man. These, it's the same way with us as a people. These curses, and read through, the book, read through this chapter. It's 68 verses. It goes through us going in slavery on ships and the whole nine. The black on black crime. The same thing that happened with um, um, this rapper take takeoff um, yesterday or the day before, or whatever. Nigga moments, man. That 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 evil eye, where you know even if you 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 can't have a, a disagreement without pulling out a gun on your own brother, man. Jake not doing this to other nations, man. That's that's oppressing their asses, man. They doing it to each other. Let me see. Matter of fact, verse 44 is a good one, too. Matter, let me start at verse 13. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. See that? You see that? You got to go to them to get a damn loan at a bank. And they ha you can have all the money in the world. They can tell you no. They can still deny your ass. You can have the best credit in the world and they can still not give you a damn loan. You got to go to them for a loan if you want to get a house, a car. I think it may be one or two, three, maybe four, maybe 10 banks in America that may be ran by some so-called black people on some level. But it ain't going to be like no goddamn Citibank or no um, 
no, no, none of these big ass banks that these people are running. You got to go to them. They're printing the money. Their faces are on the money. That says it. That says a lot in itself. OK, it says. And, and all these other nations that are in your neighborhood, your so-called Chinese man, he owned the beauty supply stores and shit. He got Chinese food stores in your goddamn neighborhood. See, they, matter of fact, let me get in the NLT over here. The foreigners living among you will become stronger and stronger while you become weaker and weaker. See, they own the mechanic shops where you got to take your damn car to get it fixed and trust that they fixing some shit, not tearing something else up so you don't have to come back next week. You see? They, go, they own the banks. They own your, uh, your gas stations. You got to go to them to, to their supermarkets. See, we, we don't have shit, man. These are the curses that are upon the children of Israel. And no other nation can say that they're going through this. Now, are there poor in other nations? Of course there is. But these people have their own governments. They have their own militaries. They have their own schools, their own banks, their own hospitals. We're the only people, race of people, that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that had to depend upon the enemy for all things. And that's the, the one that I'm looking for. Let me see. This one right here is the byword. This is the reason why we call ourselves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and all this other shit. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword. See that? Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Everywhere that we are, all these nations got some kind of nigger word for you or some kind of negative um, connotation for you. You see? Here's another one. Verse 36. White Jesus, Christianity and Islam and shit like that. That idolatry. The Lord shall bring thee. Let me see. Uh. Yep, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy father have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And mainly in this day and time, the wood is that cross with white Jesus on it, or that damn carved stone um, um, that's got to do with Islam or Muslims. That's two of the main religions that our people have flocked to and committed adultery against the Lord thy God, man. And, he, and that's one of the reasons why we're in the situation that we're in under these people, man. Let me see. I'm trying to find the one. It's lucky. Bear with me real quick here. Up here we go right here. Let me start at verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent these, these so-called white people against us, man, for being disobedient and serving other gods. And notice he says there are our enemies. These people are not friends of ours. Friends don't load you up on boats. Cargo your ass in and then get to whipping and beating the shit out of you and hanging you and castrating you and doing all these different things to you. You know what I'm saying? Friends don't do that. It says, therefore, thou, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Which the Lord, thou, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Then I just say we don't own no supermarkets. We don't have no. It's a couple cattle ranchers. You know what I'm saying? A couple so-called black farmers. But they've been giving them the business as of late. It's not a bunch of them. But in the meanwhile, we have to go to them if we want to get a damn pack of ground chunk or some shit or a pack of chicken. And it's all packaged, you know, all ready for you. It, 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 you know, <laughs> it's not like we own the farms where we can freshly, you know, do our meats and things of that nature. You want some milk? <laughs> you got to go to them butter or whatever, you know, whatever. You see what I'm saying? You want some damn cheeseburgers? You got to, I mean, you got to go to these, we have to go to these people for everything, man. So it says in hunger and in thirst, you got to pay this man for a water bill. You want to, um, um, you know, a bottle of water. You got to pay this man for a bottle of water. You want a damn Sprite, Mountain Dew, Coca-Cola. And I wouldn't advise you to drink none of that shit because it's just a cup of sugar, some damn poison. You want a Gatorade. You want a, you know, a glass of milk. You want a glass of juice. You want a beer. <laughs> you want some wine. You got to go to this man. You got to go to the, your enemies, man. It says, and in nakedness. 
See that? See, Kanye was able to hold down some shoes. He had, you know, a couple of little clothing deals, but Kanye didn't own the shit to, to actually keep it moving. He didn't own the materials. You see what I'm saying? So he had to go to them, though he was a billionaire. He had to go to them to become a billionaire, actually. So whatever you're wearing, whether it's a, a, some shit from the Gap or Old Navy or it could have been Ralph Lauren or damn Louis, Gucci, Fendi, whatever. You got to go to them and they got that. that that's they, they locking that down. They have that lock, man. OK, it says and in want of all things you want to travel, you want to leave the country and go, you know, on a cruise or you, you want to, you know, go somewhere. You got to have this man's driver's license or his identification, state ID. You know, like I said, again, if you want to leave the country, you're going to have to have this man's passport. You're going to have to have proof that you took this man's shots. You know, you have to let them know they're going to stamp your shit and then they're going to give you a time period as to because see these other countries, they want to know who's your slave master. That's what that passport represents. That's like a hall pass. Oh, yeah, I belong to, you know, um, miss a. Mr. USA, you know, they're going to know, <laughs> see? And, and you got people that say, well, hey, all people have to do that. Well, hey, so now what? We're talking about us as a people. You know, they, they, they keep claiming we're free, right? Are you free? Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You can do whatever you can. The Amer you, we can all have the American dream. Get the hell out of here, man. Okay? And it says... And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And I love that quote right there. Until he have destroyed thee. Because see, look, I'm going to copy and paste. I done done it in a few lessons before, but I like to always do this, man. And these lessons for newcomers that may just be, you know, checking out these particular videos. Hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are those, that holy people, man, that the Lord chose. So let me copy this. Let's go into, since we already in Google. Let's see what Google got to say. They might have got rid of it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because generally, I go into duck, duck, go. Because Google been on some bullshit lately. They've been erasing a lot of shit. They don't want you to know these particular. But see, as soon as you put that in, all I done was copied and pasted. And look at this shit. Look at the things that come up. They got Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 48 right there. They got the slave right here. You can clear. Let's go to some more images. Why is it that the so-called Negro pops up when you put in yokes of iron? Where are the small hats at? Where are those people that are mad at Kanye and mad at Kareem right now? Shouldn't it should be them? Why aren't we seeing yokes of why aren't we seeing no pictures of them with yokes of iron around their neck, man? This is this is a prophecy that came to pass. This is how you know this is one of the reasons, like I said, when we went to Deuteronomy 28 and 46, it says they will be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. This is a sign right here. You can't get around it. And see, the children of Israel are starting to be awakened, and these motherfuckers is, is running scared, man. Because with the Kyrie situation, they want to make that simmer. I was just reading with the C, um, you know, the I done a lesson on it earlier with the CEO of the Brooklyn Nets. He wants that shit to simmer. They, they, they've come, they've had their talks. They don't want Kyrie doing any more interviews. So you're not about to see Kanye um, sitting up on a, um, no, I don't give a shit if he hit 100 points. If he hit 100 points, that motherfucker can have a, 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 a quadruple, drip, uh, uh, whatever. He can have 20 rebounds, 20 assists, 20 steals. 75 points. <laughs> they are not going to put his ass up on that on, on those stage and get to asking him no questions for a while. You are not about to see Kanye. I mean, um, Kyrie for a while because the CEO actually said that we don't we want this thing to simmer. They don't want no more talks of, you know, see, because see, they, they, they fucked themselves up by putting that link in all these news stories to that um, Negroes to um. What's it called? Hebrews to Negroes movie. That shit garnered a lot of steam. A lot of people watched that, man, after um, they kept on putting the link into the see. Now you're going to notice that you're not going to see that link in those news stories no more. They might mention it, but then again, they're going to have to ease up off of that because a lot of so-called blacks. Kyrie got a nice following. And then, of course, Kanye, he has a nice following. 
People are going to go and check into these things. Even so-called, all these nations are checking into this, man. It's not just the so-called blacks. The so-called uh, 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 white people are checking it out. They're like, oh, shit. Because some of these, because so, the scriptures, is, they cut so cold. That's why it talks about the scriptures being um, like a two-edged sword. You see what I'm saying? And those scriptures be cutting these, these people up. And those so-called white people, they look at those signs when the brothers are out on the highways and byways. Because the brothers got signs up for some of this stuff right here. You see? And when, and when they walk by, see, here you go. Somebody got a, a beauty right, right here. Which one fits the curse? And you can see the picture. So you got one of those small hatters. They've never had... <laughs> Come on. This is complete evidence right here that we are the children of Israel. Because as soon as you put in yokes of iron, all you see is some niggas in slavery, man. With the yokes of iron on their necks. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get away from it, man. And see, I'm surprised they haven't started scrubbing a lot of this stuff, man. You see what I'm saying? Because they know full well the Lord is not some white guy. They know full well that the children of Israel are not some so-called white people, man. They know that. But they've been able to control the narrative. And the, and the only reason why they've been able to do what they've been doing is because the Lord gave them the power to. Because he was so pissed with us for worshiping false gods, worshiping these idols, man, doing all kinds of wickedness. So the Lord was like, OK, all right, I got something for y'all. But in these last days, though, he's going to wake us up. And that's a beautiful thing, man. And this is what you're witnessing right now. You're witnessing the awakening of the children of Israel. And some of them are going to be awakened to be destroyed. And some of them are going to be awakened to be saved, man. Because this is only for the elect of Israel. This is only for the elect of Israel. All that white Jesus crap and the Lord loves everybody and he's coming to save heathens. Oh, that's <laughs> you can forget about that. That shit is not in the scriptures. See, the so-called white man. He got his hands on the scriptures. He got his hands on the Bible. And the Bible actually says in the Apocrypha, it actually says he whitewashed um, the images. He actually whitewashed the images to make you think that the Lord is some white guy. The angels are, so, are, are, are white. The father, he's sitting on his throne with leprosy, too. They want you to really think that. And, it, and, and, and it's falling apart now. It's like, you know, if you've ever seen the Wizard of Oz and the dog Toto. He pulls the curtain back and they're like, oh, shit, look at this. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's the wizard. They start <laughs> they seeing like, oh, shit, man, this is a hoax. But see, they're about to start turning up now because their time is running out. So that's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans repent, because all of our time is running out. The time is running out, man. The Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. The, the, the World War Three is already in play. That's all you're hearing is wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, famines. You ain't seen nothing yet. When hey, you, they probably going this probably gonna be you you Americans last Christmas. It's gonna be the last probably the last year you able to stuff a goddamn ham in your mouth. Cause it's about to go straight into full famine mode, man. The famines are happening. The pestilence are happening. The earthquakes are on, in diverse places are happening. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom is happening. Uproars of the people. Shit is about to get real nasty out here, man. And you want to be under the, the, the wing of your Hawabashim Yawashai, man. So with that, you know, like I said again, this right here is sad. But this is the scriptures, man. Jake would have an evil eye towards his brother. Jake would have, even to, you at school, man, doing something that's supposedly be fun and you fighting with your brother over some shit that some white people put you up to, man. You Here you go. You out here, they weighing you. They checking your teeth and shit. It ain't no different than, than being on a damn auction block. They measuring you, measuring your biceps, measuring your legs and shit. Here you go. You, you, you already there being a complete goddamn slave and coon. It's not enough that you can go out on the football field and, 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 and beat up on your own damn kind. But uh, during a break, you, <laughs> you couldn't even go to the locker room, man, without. Come on, man. But that's some curses on our people, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Ashala.